Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to review an article that recently was published in JAMA looking at the relative rate of autism in children compared to those who did or did not receive the MMR vaccine, and it actually showed no increased risk of having autism if you receive the vaccine, and it actually showed a slight decreased risk or perhaps a protective benefit of the MMR vaccine in developing autism, but I'm not going to tell you that that actually is true. So this all starts back in 1998 with Dr. Wakefield in Britain and in the British journal Lancet. He published an article that showed a link between autism and the MMR vaccine, and this started the anti-vaccine movement. Uh, it was found to be not only untrue, but fraudulent. He uh, manipulated his data and the Lancet withdrew this article and they actually uh, revoked this doctor's license uh, in Europe for fraud purposes. There have been multiple studies since then that have shown no link between the MMR vaccine and autism. And this was a study uh, which is called a cohort study or an observational study where they looked at over 95,000 children over five years time and looked at their rate of MMR vaccination and their rate of developing autism. And I'm going to, I'm afraid, use my cheat sheet for this. So the, they use an insurance database. They identified 95,727 children who they kept in their system for at least five years. So these kids were insured by the same insurer for at least the first five years of their life. Those 95,000 children had an older sibling that was also insured and had records through the insurance company. So everybody in the study was followed for at least five years. They all had an older sibling that was also tracked for their uh, autism or not. Of the uh, 95,000 children, 994, or about 1% of the children were diagnosed with autism in the first five years. And that goes along with uh, pretty common um, quoted statistics, maybe 70 per, uh, 1 in 70 boys and 130 girls. But 1% overall children were diagnosed with autism in the first five years of life. In the study, um, they identified 2% of the 95,000 children who had a older sibling, sibling who had autism. So 2% of 95,000 children had an older sibling with autism. Uh, not surprisingly, 6.9% uh, of those children developed autism. We know that there is a very strong genetic link in autism. So if you have an older sibling with autism, you are more likely to develop autism. And this observational study bore that out that 1% of kids with a healthy healthy older brother or sister developed autism, uh, the standard number, and 7% almost who had a sibling with autism developed autism, not a surprise. They tracked these uh, kids for five years and uh, children who had a healthy older sibling, 84% um, of them re received at least one MMR vaccine by age two and 92% of them had one or two vaccines by age five. The children who had a sibling with autism, 73% of them only compared to 84%. Uh, had a first vaccine by age two, and 86% had at least one vaccine by age five compared to 92, and that kind of makes sense. If you have a uh, one child already with autism, you are probably reading more and are a little bit leery about giving the MMR, and slightly less kids got the vaccine that had an older sibling. They looked at all of the combinations. If you had a sibling with autism, if you didn't have a sibling with autism, if you received uh, at least one or two vaccines in those first five years or did not receive any vaccines in those first five years, and there was statistically no difference if you got the vaccine or didn't got the vaccine. This is even in the high-risk population. Your sibling has autism. If you received the vaccine, you had no increased risk compared to someone else who has a sibling with autism. In fact, there was a slight statistical decrease in receive, uh, developing autism if you receive the vaccine. Not by any means a statistical uh, obvious answer, but there was a slight statistical variation. So another study, one of many, showing that MMR has no bearing on your risk of developing autism. Dr. Greg Castello, thank you.